All right, we're gonna test out the gorilla lift first. First try. Like, well, I guess you borrowed one finger. <laughs> Almost. 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 <laughs> hey, Phil, watch the YouTube video. A guy, he says you're not supposed to push down on the drill. You know everybody on YouTube's an idiot, right? What? All right, so don't ask me how this happened. I've had that tire skin in my garage, and I've just like kind of shifted it back and forth. And somehow I probably leaned it up there, and I pulled the quad all the way out and up here, and I didn't even notice it. And now look at how she's tangled in there. I should be able to get that off, but it's times are tight. We're going to do retreads, I think. You know, the country's kind of might go in recession, so we might we might start retreading again. Rolling. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Today we're going to do an install of this Gorilla Lift and we're going to walk through the process of the install. It went pretty good overall and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it in a review. We ended up doing something a little different with it. We kind of modified it and I'm only going to use one but I'll show you why and we'll see if it works. So let's check it out. <laughs> And a real quick note before we get into today's episode. On the same day we installed these uh, Rhino USA wheel chocks as well as the Gorilla Gate Lift. And let's just say one of these products is going to get five stars and the other one's going to get maybe one and a half ish. So if you haven't seen that, it's on our channel and I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks. Hey, you're at an angle. You're not straight well, you up know, and down. You're just some guy on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Phil. Yeah. I watched the YouTube video. A guy, he says you're not supposed to push down on the drill. You know everybody on YouTube's an idiot, right? What? You know everybody on YouTube's an idiot, right? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, a little background on this install. Uh, first of all, it went flawlessly. It went very good. Uh, we did have to buy longer carriage bolts, but they said that in the instructions that if you have a round uh, tube rail instead of a flat tube rail, you need to get longer carriage bolts. So we did. So now you could see here that the carriage bolts were a little bit thicker than the uh, this lift guard if you will so that's what Phil is doing right here he's just kind of wallering out these holes so that the carriage bolt sinks down a little bit farther and it, and it does its thing so let's continue on yeah, well, and we did make one tactical mistake here which I'll show you and I'll show you why we made it so that if you do this you don't make the same mistake Seems pretty easy so far. There's a roller on this end by the tailgate. And this is all a big spring in here. And all it is is a keeper, keeper pin here on the end, into the end of that spring. All right, at this point, we actually had to break out the instructions again. Looks simple enough, though. Hey, that's a really good, or that's really thin too. Though. review <laughs> today oh that keeps the cable straight it's a little adjuster I see that makes sense okay so this first install is by the book we followed the instructions and we adjusted it accordingly um, and but we're gonna make a change here, but let's see how the first install went you rolling yet? Yep All right, we're gonna test out the gorilla lift first first try 
fingers crossed, we only got one side in. We're gonna see if one, one is gonna work. Yeah. Down is, down is nice. <laughs> yeah, I'd say for me one is gonna work. So easy, even your granny can do it. I mean, not quite like well, I guess you borrowed one finger. <laughs> Almost. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. That worked pretty good. On the other side. Is the other side heavier? It, it, it feels like it, that or I've been crawling on well, Give us your thoughts. We're debating on putting on two or just leaving the one. Let's see what Phil thinks. Depends whether it's a, a DEFCON 5 back day or a, right, right. Or a I'm 36 again back day. Uh, but one, one makes a huge difference. Yeah, no doubt. But I don't know that I'd be... I wouldn't just think two is better. Well, I, yeah, there's no doubt it would be. Okay, now because we're idiot men, we're gonna go ahead and try to make get more power. More power. Okay, so the instructions call for you to basically stretch out the cable to where the slack kind of ends in the spring, if you will. So we decided to increase its power. We're gonna move it four inches, and this was the tactical error we made. Uh, instead of just like hooking it to our gate and testing it the first time, we drilled a hole. So the error is that we're going to put a second hole in my tailgate. I mean, it ain't going to hurt much really, honestly. I'll put a bolt in it so water don't get in there. Special thanks to Greg for that idea. So anyways, let's see how it goes. Extending the mounting point four inches and see if it actually improves it or not. Rolling. Right, we're rolling. What do we do? All right, we moved it up. We're trying to get more power out of one so that I can give Phil the other one to use on his trailer. So we moved it four inches. Here's the test. Okay, so just to clarify, we didn't move this yellow spring mount at all. We moved the mount on the tailgate. So here's the original hole you know with basically no slack in it and then here we here's the new hole we added four inches farther to the rear um, for a little more pressure on the spring well that wasn't quite what you wanted was want it <laughs> you really notice any difference i do i do That's one remember last time one Oh yeah, you couldn't get it over your head. So it's it's one finger now. So that was worth it. I agree, that was good. The only thing is, is shouldn't there be a way of this thing secured? I can adjust that in. Alright, we're good, man. Except that probably broke the tail right. That's alright, they're cheap. And then you adjust that so it's straight, pretty straight in the rollers. And away you go. See, the deal is, put it up there, you're all piled up, and you take off down the road, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall to the ground. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you try it. Uh huh. Pretty darn easy. It's, it's definitely easier. Definitely easier. All definitely right, easier. good. Good deal. It's a success, though. Definitely. Okay, so this was a huge success. I definitely give five stars for this gorilla lift. Um, I can just imagine how much easier it would be with two of them, but like I said, we we're trying to save money. So I also saw another person that only used one. That's where I got the idea from. And this way, Phil can uh, use one on his trailer. I mean, the thing costs like 216 bucks for the pair. Uh, I mean, I'll charge Phil 200. For the extra one i just won't tell them what i paid for it but this way we can just use one of them uh it's less installation you know less that this cable you might trip over it on your trailer and that so definitely a huge success here thanks for watching i hope to see you on another video thanks a lot